Now the official name of this color is Jade. Some people call it Natural G10. My name for it will be Fresca. I'm serious. It just reminds me of a Fresca soda. I, I Don't ask. It just does. Uh, I actually like it. It's a cool color. Different, fresh, or maybe I should say refreshing like a Fresca. <laughs> JG10. That's cool. I think it might be a fad though. I really do. Another knife fad that will come and go this coloration. We'll see. If in five years they're still making it, then hey, wasn't a fad. Very popular. Uh, other fads that I've seen come and go, there's so many. Uh, one was the zombie colors, the neon orange and lime. Yeah, where where's that at now? <laughs> How's that doing? I lambasted that when it came out. I said it was ridiculous. It's gone. Another one is rainbow colorations. I don't see a lot of rainbow colorations for different blades. Kershaw still does them. Some guys really like them. Eh, not me. Uh, not a fad is the orange color, though. That has been around a long time. I've always loved orange. It's been a favorite of mine. I'm not super fond of this particular <laughs> hue of orange. Look at how particular I am. It's so funny. Uh, it's okay. It's okay. Oh, by the way, the knives are a subsidiary of the Stedman. Some people say Steedman, but I say Stedman Knife Company. Chinese produced blades, and the subsidiary is called Max Ace, if I'm saying it right. Knives are the balance blades, and I actually like them. I do. Now, if you've been with me all these years in the knife show, those knives might look similar to a knife that I know several TMPers, maybe at least two, <laughs> purchased and I reviewed very favorably and that would be the Buck Vantage line there is the pro version in S30V looks pretty similar right yeah exactly like I said in a lot of reviews knife companies copy other knife companies it is rampant it's always gone on you'll see the same blade shapes repeated over and over again in different knife brands and companies it's just the way it's been uh, it was that way long before I came to the scene, and it will continue that way. That's not necessarily a bad thing because a classic blade shape like this comes out in a different interpretation. And I really think the Max Ace Balance is a very different interpretation than the Buck Vantage series. Again, this is the Pro. Uh, I actually like this one better. Now, this particular Pro, and I'm so glad I didn't sell it because I've sold all the other Buck Vantages to make room for other blades here in TMP. This one, if I remember, has really nice knife uh, blade centering. The other ones did not. They would rub, and I would adjust them. I even sent a couple back to Buck, and they'd come back, and they're still rubbing. This one has great centering, but then again, I haven't messed around with a pivot point. In all fairness, I haven't done it with these Max Ace balance, balance knives yet either. Sometimes when you do that, you're done for. <laughs> your, your centering is gone, especially when you have a thicker blade and a very narrow containment area in the handle. You just don't have a lot of movement. There you go. And this was kind of heavy for its size. It's a EDC blade. I didn't think I said in the review of this particular one that it's a tactical blade. It does have a thumb ramp with some jimping, but 4.8 ounces for this small of a knife is, mm, I don't know, kind of kind of heavy and these max ace blades are a little bit larger if we just do a side by side just a little bit you can see the blade variants there almost identical blade style although i wish the max ace balance would have a thumb ramp on it and let's check the weight four two so it's slightly larger and it's about a half ounce lighter if you care I do. I think it's uh, nice when I have a lightweight knife. Philosophy of use would be EDC, fun collectible, gift item, leave it at that. I would not say tactical, detraction plan is just lacking. Steel on this for the price level, and I'm being dead serious with you guys, is pretty stellar. S35V, powder metallurgy steel. Usually when you see a knife of that steel, it's going to uh, leap up in price point. Although I will say this Buck Vantage Pro, uh, I think also 100% uh, producing in the United States, incidentally. 
and with a Bose heat treatment on it, Paul Bose heat treatment, is around the same price point. So this is a lot of knife for the money, a lot of steel for the money. But I think the Max Aces do it too, albeit they're produced in China. Anytime you get a blade that's produced, I shouldn't say anytime, but most times when you get a blade produced in the U.S., the price just leaps up. 3.6 inches in length, full flat grind, no flats for a consistent angle sharpener, but you do have a place to put a zip tie, woohoo, which I do all the time. Again, the EDC is the Enduro, and I zip tie that sucker all the time. So it auto deploys from the pocket. Yeah. So you can do it with this. Is it as clean as a spidey hole? It works. I mean, I've been deploying from the pocket. It works fine. Elongated deployment hole. I would totally zip tie it if I were you. You could do that. I love the blade shape. There's your tip. It's kind of a thicker blade, so there should be plenty of strength there if that matters to you. The speed is perfection, really. Perfection. Really a balanced action. Ball bearing pivot. That's what Stedman uses in all of its knives, I think. This is technically a Max Ace product. Lockup is flawless, no problems. There's your timing on the lock. Slightly early. Centering and detent check right now, ladies and gentlemen. Perfect centering. Check that out. And I was doing this earlier. I was really impressed with the detent either. I was like, maybe I can reverse deploy this. I, there it goes. I did it off camera because I need more throne room. But that detent's perfect. And this is how you do a detent. I mean, this is probably the best detent I've reviewed lately. Because it's not so hard where it's you know difficult to overpower it like that ZT that I just reviewed, the Zero Tolerance. The detent on that was insane. I mean, you had to grasp it a certain way and flick it out. This one just pops out. Flipper design. You could use the you know, deployment slot there if you wanted with your thumb. No occlusion with the handle. No hot spots. Really nice ergonomics overall, albeit, like I said, no thumb ramp on it. Big lanyard hole. Well done, Max Ace could take the whole thing apart, flow through construction. Again, I love that jade. So clip on this, uh, decent. I would not replace the clip. Would I put a low rider on it? Maybe, but this really isn't a lot of knife poking out from your pocket. It'll be just about from here up. If you have a lanyard on it, you'll be able to extract it easily. Titanium clip too, if I'm not mistaken. Yep, satin finished. I think it's just a good looking clip. It's narrow, it's not goofy. Uh, unlike some of their other designs, this will be in a bracket review. So that means it's going to post close to this one. This is a Stedman DSG with that goofy platypus <laughs> damn duck clip on it. I'm going to call this a platypus clip. It just looks ridiculous. This is so much better. Yeah, durability should be good. However, this is a newer knife company, newer brand. Uh, you'll see guys as years go by come to this video and I... I anticipate they're going to say I really like the knife. I don't have any reservations about the steel. S35 is excellent, especially at this price point. Like I said, I think it'll be fine. Value is going to be around uh, 140 bucks, give or take, which I think for the steel is totally in the ballpark. Totally. Uh, I'm not a super fan of the black. <laughs> I was here. I was going to say backwash again. Uh, it's okay. Uh, Kershaw loves it. They put out a lot of knives. I think this may be a, speaking of knife trends, might be another knife trend. We'll see if in five years the the black wash is still around. Maybe it is. I don't know. This would probably be my favorite coloration. It does come in other colors as well. Look in the bottom and I will link to the blade. There you go. Nothing fancy review. And man, I'm ripping through them tonight. Another one. Less than 10 minutes. What? Crazy. No competitive options though. Sorry. If I do competitive options, that adds another, I don't know, freaking 10. Out. See ya.